Well, happy Friday to everyone, and uh, we're here for another one of Ron's reviews today. Hope everyone has had a good week. I've uh, been praying for you, and uh, so good to hear from you when you can uh, send us a note or something like that. It's a, or, uh, it's a real blessing. So today we're back in More Than Conqueror's book, and it's page 75, Holy. And, uh, of course, this is a piece we have worked on some, so we're going to review it today and uh, look at some of the things on it. And, uh, of course, everything will be on the website as well for you to resource. So we're going to jump right in and uh, look at it. Remember, this is what I call the Brooklyn Tabernacle style of medium-slow gospel ballad. Um, uh, and there are a lot of really good um, articulations, phrasings, that uh, Josh Stewart, the arranger, has very uh, carefully detailed in the music to help us sing in this style so that it sounds authentic and, and makes more musical sense, which that always makes the message come through better. So that's why we give attention to that. So the uh, we start on a unison A. So the altos and sopranos are quite low. Tenors and basses are on the higher end of their uh, register. So, remember when we're the slower the tempo, the more you have to subdivide the beat in your mind. So, on this piece, it's very helpful to always feel and think the eighth notes. So, we're going one, two, three, four for the quarters, and you need to think. One and two and three and four and because there are a lot of eighth notes, or a lot of sub, uh, uh, a lot of sixteenth notes, a lot of subdivisions like that, and it helps you to place it. So let's think about that as we do this very opening line here: three, four, and. Think the and three, four, and that helps you place the sixteenth note and and off and in the same place. Going, feeling the eighth note. Two, side so divide four, two, three, and off and and four and two, three and four and three and. Four. Okay, now. Let's stop just for a minute. Um, when we get to the chorus here, that is in the pickups to uh, to measure 21, you are holy. Okay, remember that? That's a Scottish snap. The 16th followed by the dotted eight. So it's four and, or it's not and, four E, and then the and follows that, but you don't need to get that technical if you don't want to. Uh-huh. So, and, and, but you do need to think the and on holy. Oh, and so that then right after the and, we place the last uh, syllable of holy. You are whole and lee. Okay, see right there? Holy. So you think the subdivision. So let's take, uh, let's back up to measure 19. Lord, we proclaim. Remember, think the and of beat four, and then the 16th note comes right after it. Okay, so thinking the and, here we go. Lord, we proclaim, ready, and. Four, and. Two, and three, and four. And, and three, and. Now, 
we're going to stop just for one more second. And, and I think you're starting to get the feel for that again. Uh, going down here into measure 25. And here, here's uh, one little important style thing about singing gospel ballads. Or, and, but the syncopations, of course, are really important. But when the rhythm is straight, even, uh, eighths or quarters or whatever it is, that's also extremely important that we make those very precise and totally straight and right on the beat or wherever they belong because the contrast to the straight section and the syncopated section is part of what gives the music its character. So we're taking the pickups into measure 24 and we, uh, pardon me, 25. Uh, and we praise the Okay, and then, uh, hang on a second, I've got my pages messed up. All righty. Uh, okay. One thing um, that's very important in this arrangement is the placement of syllables. And I want we want to look at this on this pickup to measure 25. And we praise thee again. Now, so often in gospel or, or uh, this kind of music, you'll we will hear the the moving note uh, placed on uh, uh, the, the end of the previous word. So you would often hear this, and we praise thee, like this, see, but not here. And we praise, and think the and, praise thee, amen. Okay, so just make sure we don't uh, just... Uh, accidentally getting uh, singing it the way we would perhaps normally have done it. So here we go. Pickups into 25, 3, and. And we praise thee. Um, 1, and 2, and going on. And. Watch again, we're going on, we exalt thee, and, and I, I forgot to mention this a minute ago, but if you notice, Josh, the, the uh, arranger Josh, um, has put these little lines over the notes where the word is falling on the syncopated note, uh, just as a helper and a reminder, and, and I, that was such a great thing. And that way it helps you to remember that. So here we go. We're taking the pick up into measure 35. Three and.
key change, and here's the solos, might as well sing along. change keys listen to this and three and 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 three and and three and one and two and three and 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 three straight and the amens so we're going to stop right there for just a second because we're going to, i'm going to play these parts separately here so that um you can just uh have a little extra these beautiful amens at the end okay i think you're going to do uh, real well on those rhythms uh, hopefully that helps if you have questions email me back in so we'll start here with the tenors and basses on the amens this is measure 74 and it's one Tenors, you're dividing the first second right there at the end. So you've gone, okay, and then there, and then, so the second tenors will go on down and grab the D flat. First tenors will go up and get the G, which is the four, three, two, okay, suspension there. Okay, all right. Okay, sopranos and altos, measure 74. One and and four and and
altos, altos, amen. Ah. Let me do that last little bit there because my finger slipped there for you. Uh, uh, how about uh, measure 83, ladies? Here's beat one is the men from the previous measure and then one and Okay, so let's do all four parts together now so you can get it back in your head how that goes. And uh, oh, and I meant to mention earlier, even though here at the end we're singing a much more legato, sort of our, our normal cantabile kind of singing, um, you uh, still have to watch these rhythms and make sure these, these uh, 16th notes and all this are placed the same. So it's still just as important to think about the and and placing the 16th note in the right place as it is when we're doing it in the more syncopated style. Okay, so here we go. Measure 74, all four parts. We start on that right there. Here are three, there one, and. piece and and uh, it's it it's uh has such a powerful worshipful uh, spirit about it so that's going to be that's going to be great so uh thanks for joining me today let me just pray with you before we go father thank you for this time we've had together uh we're one in the spirit and we are one in the lord and uh we're so thankful that we can uh, worship together even though we're not necessarily in the same physical building and lord uh just pray your bless these, uh, your people, Lord, our Northland Cathedral Choir and um, their ministry that is so important. And uh, we just look forward to being back together soon. I pray you bless them with health and strength and safety and provision. And uh, Lord, may your, your grace and blessings be upon them is our prayer. Amen. Goodbye. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, please feel free to email or text if you have questions or just to say hi.